Three players have scored double digits. Uh, Eric scored the team high. Tell me about the team's performance overall in the game, the big win over Brooklyn. Well, I really thought, uh, and I think we've showed this the last couple of games, we've been able to maintain a, a level of, of execution to at least, you know, to keep us in the game, to keep a lead. Uh, in the past, we've had stretches where we've just lost leads and just had some real bonehead plays and we'll get down eight or 10, but uh, our mistakes really aren't extended. I mean, we'll make one or two and then we're right back and we'll get a bucket. I mean, there's so many times and I remember Brooklyn tying the game or up one and the next minute later, we'd be up three. I mean, we're just right back on and we just, it was almost like, you know, the confidence in our players, or as I told them, we're starting to get a bit of a swagger. I don't want it to ever get to, overconfidence. I want him to have a swagger, but to still, still be hungry. So uh, I saw that throughout the game. It was just huge. I mean, you know, we didn't play a lot of people, especially down the stretch. They were gassed, but uh, wow, it was huge. And I think this one is, I don't know how far this one goes back. Not quite as far as Baruch, but it was back away. It's, I think 2004 or five. I don't know, but yeah, just overwhelmed. Just really excited. They, uh, they did everything on the other game plan was executed perfectly. We took their two, their best players out of the game, their shooters, their playmakers, similar to what we did to Baruch. They did open the floor up for people to penetrate, and we just kept hammering them all game. You know, God, keep the ball in front of you. They're not going to shoot. They're trying to go around you. Keep it in front of you. Just woman to woman. You're not going to have a lot of help because we're spread out denying those other shooters. And, you know, and they got in there early, especially early in the game, the first half. But I think second half, we closed it down a little bit. But, uh, it just was tough. I mean, Robin Daly, those threes you get, the buckets, this crunch time, what you expect your senior to do. And then making the free throws down the stretch, it's huge. So just a, just a great effort, great effort, happy, real happy. Uh, talk to me about um, what this win does for the team, like regarding morale. You know, the big win against Brook, now the big win against Brooklyn. You got the game against uh, York on Friday. Tell me what this does for the team heading into that game. Well, you know, it, it, it puts us in that position where I've told them all along, you know, I was telling them to hover around that five and four spot, and now we're starting to move into the, into the top four. So uh, we're going to get better efforts now from teams. And there's no question that there, no one's taking us lightly. From now on, I, I'm sure the Baruch score was, a, was many thought was a fluke, and, and, and obviously tonight's win on the road against an undefeated team in our league definitely will, will wake everybody else up. We're going to get their best efforts. So... Going forward, we know we're going to have to really improve our game as well uh, and certainly take care of business on the games that we need to take care of business. And, and you hope you can get splits down the stretch and, and just get in that final four. I mean, that's what it's all about. It would be nice to be one and two. Uh, fantastic, but I've told them from the beginning and it hasn't changed. Just get in there, hover, and start to make our move. We're making it a little earlier. I hope I hope we continue to make our move. I expect to do this maybe in our four or five games to go. but. Um, I'm right, we're right where we need to be, and we just need to stay hungry. That's what it, it has to be that way, and I'm sure they, they're more excited now than ever to get back to work and keep building on this. How do you avoid against complacency? I mean, really, it is a team that has shocked two to top teams, yeah. quote unquote, um, in conference. And then tonight, you guys take down undefeated Brooklyn, who really 12 and 4 in the season, 8 0 right. no coming in, and right. they were beating teams by four to the last five wins were by double digits. To get a win like that, especially. Getting the run you need in the right. final minutes. Yeah. How do you yeah. want to get some well, places to see? I think it's, you know, I, and this is a broken record with me, and I've talked about it since I took over. You, you continue to talk to them about the process and what we have to do. I mean, if we, if their first thought, I'm sure, in their head is, let's get a blow off Friday so the subs can play, which is nothing wrong with that. that that's great because it's a great team uh, bonding that we have, and they're very close, and they want the people on the bench to play. But you can't really look at it, let's blow them out so we can get them in. You have to talk about what we have to do to get a, a score where we can get people in the game. So I'm going to get them refocused to, yes, that's what we want is the outcome, but to lock in more on the process and what has to be done in that process to be ready Friday night. Oh, you talk Tell me about your performance overall in the game. What made you stay focused and the big win against Brooklyn? Well, before the game even started, like I had a mindset to come in. Like I had a since I woke up, my mindset was to win this game. Like my team, they gave me the ball, they helped me, and I just, I just finished. Like without the, without the team, without the team, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have got this far. Like, I'm just glad like, I had a great game. But we all, like our team, helped me have a great game. Okay, you talk about the team morale. I mean, 
you talk about the, how the team helped you. Just tell me how the team morale is, you know, chemistry-wise in the locker room. I heard we were like a lot of cheering and stuff. Um, how's, how is the team morale and how is that going to affect you in the game against York and all the coming conference games? Um, the chemistry was great. Like, we, uh, we uh, over, over the time since the season has been coming, like, our chemistry has gotten better. We see how talented our team is, so we're like, like you know, we could be the best, we just have to play like the best. Like, we continue that, we'll, we'll get to the top. And as, it, as for York, like, we just got to keep, like, we, like we, and this was a great win because we just beat the undefeated team. So now we, we can't let down from this. We got to keep going up. How worried are you that, you know, other teams in the conference are looking at this game and they're going to step up their game, you know, that maybe before you guys, if you had lost this game, other teams would go, okay, they lost to Brooklyn. But now you guys win this game against Brooklyn, other teams are going to step it up. You know, how worried are you that, you know, games from now on are going to get a little more difficult? We just, we're not going to be worried, we just need to come... Same way how we play, we gotta come like this and come ten times harder, and just be ready to play with our mindset, ready to win the game. Like we can't let up. We gotta start from the beginning all the way to the end. What's the confidence level like with this team now? You guys took down Brook. Y'all took down Brook, ending a 31 game losing streak to them. Now you take down an undefeated Brooklyn College team. The first win against one against the first win against Brooklyn in a long time, but it's the second. The first win against an undefeated team in a long time. What is the confidence level like? What's the attitude in the locker room like? Like we, we're we're so confident. Like we're so happy at the same time. Like it's like you know we can, and just because we won this game, we can't be like oh we can't walk around cocky. We gotta stay confident, composed, and just know like from here it just gets harder from here. So we gotta keep playing as a team. The chemistry just will stay up. I want to start with you, Robin. That rain of threes you had. Tell me what motivated that. You know, uh, it was pretty big, and it kind of it got CCNY in the lead, and like it kept you guys. Um, honestly, I was going based off of how the girl was playing defense on me. She was so far back, so I took that as disrespect. So I'm like, listen, I'm just gonna shoot the shot. If it goes in, it goes in. If it don't, then it don't. So it did. And Tiara, uh, your performance was, you know, big as usual. Another double double. I believe that's your twelfth of the season. Tell me about. Okay. Tell me about. <laughs> you know your just your motivation. Like you know staying in the game, making sure that you have. This like, one right here. <laughs> <laughs> this one right here. Look, all my sis came from Robin. Like I ain't gonna lie. At first, I was like a hot head in the first half. Robin was telling me like you're, you know you're not like this. It's not true. We need you. So right there, just for the team believing me, the coach believing me, that just. And plus, I was playing as one of like my best friends, so I, you know, I had to get the job. <laughs> Wait, who on the team is? Number 21 on Brooklyn. 20, oh, okay. Um, so, you know, this chemistry you guys have going on, how is this going to translate into your game against New York on Friday? I'm Blake Griffin, DeAndre Jordan. <laughs> so, whoever comes, comes. You might be the smallest post in this league, but be big at heart. Right. Our chemistry off the court is so good that it comes on the court. So, you know what I mean? So, I expect nothing but the best from her, and yeah. she never lets me down. Same for her. Jamie was talking about you, you, the team's chemistry as a whole this year as a much, much, much different scene compared to last year. Would you say that was is? Would you agree that's like one of the big reasons for y'all success this season? Yes. 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 <laughs> last year was the worst <laughs> chemistry in the world. You know how it's <laughs> the worst. <laughs> it was the worst. This year, I feel like everybody was on the same page mentality. You know, everybody started off like, you know what? It's a new year, clean slate. That's how I took it. So. I feel like we definitely feel like a family yes. this time. Whole new coaching staff besides Coach Jamie, new players, like yeah. new new dreams too. Like we want to be able to be able to play in the Final Four in our school, which was not never happened. Like we try. First of all, we're making history this year. Like group to Brooklyn, next to CSI. And another thing, Coach he told us um, last night we had practice. He was like. Whoever's a senior, this might be your last time getting a chance to play against Brooklyn. We might not be able to see them in the in the chip. So I took that as, you know what? They're gonna remember me here. Yes. So the I crowd, took that as everybody. yes, disrespect the crowd, I don't care. Tunnel vision. Tunnel vision. <laughs> Tunnel vision.